This is Resin with you here to bring you a quick video review of this awesome multi tool. No, I'm just kidding. I'm actually here to bring you a quick review of this um, SOG power plate multi tool that came out not that long ago, and I haven't seen a video review on it. And I was looking for a video review on this uh, multi tool so that I can determine whether I wanted to buy it or not. So what I did was, I said, what the heck? I went and bought it, went on eBay, purchased it for around 50 bucks, and I got it yesterday. So here I am just bringing you something real quick for you guys. This is the packaging that it comes in. Um, it says here, 18 tools combined. So 18 tools and functions. What else do we have here? Mines comes with the, uh, the hex pick. And what else we have here? SOG power play, it's uh, 6.25 inches, and that's 6.25 inches open, not closed. It's around four inches closed. Comes with a synthetic sheath, uh, weighs 8.1 ounces, and you also get the uh, SOG lifetime warranty. So I'm sorry about the lighting. I'm using the lighting off my phone, and I'm rec actually recording this off my phone. I'm not a professional, so, you know, this is something from an average guy, quick video, you know, from your average consumer who loves, happens to love multi-tools. And the back of the packaging, you also get some labeling here. It says magnetic, one quarter hex driver, which is one of those functions that um, SOG added to their to their multi-tools. You slip it in between here, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, you have the, the bit kit, which comes with all these, uh, with bits. And you can pause the video anytime to so take a good look at this. Also, you have this synthetic sheath, which actually looks way better than what it does on the picture here. And then you have the uh, a layout of all the tools, all numbered out from 1 through 18, all different functions. Now, I'm going to go over a few things that I, you know, didn't consider the first time I bought this, but I actually, you know, noticed afterwards. So, without further ado, it's time to show you guys the actual multi-tool, which I happen to have on my belt, so. First off. First off is the sheath. This sheath, synthetic, I really like. You got the SOG logo back here. You have a, uh, you know, button down. Sort of clip on, you know, if you want a, like a clip on action or or, or, you know, button down holster here. So you can uh, take it off with ease, put it on with ease. You don't have to keep it on your belt all day. So that's a, that's a plus on, on this sheath. And that's a plus from SOG. Uh, right here you have the side pocket or side holster that holds the, the, the hex bit. And you have to sort of kind of, well, it's easier if I open it. So you have that hex bit, little kit, you have the SOG logo here going on. They even, on, they even have it on there twice so that you know who it's from. It's from SOG. Yes, it is. And I think these these uh, multi-tools are underrated. I think they these are the underdogs. You know, everybody tends to go with the Leatherman. Here goes that bit kit. We got several. Screw Phillips Phillips head screwdrivers, and then you cut up have a couple sides of the you know flat heads and so on and so forth. And you got this one, I believe, according to the box, according to the box here. Yeah. Oh, you can you have one quarter socket to hex bit adapter. And that's what this is right here, guys. That's what this is. I'm not a professional in tools. I just I'm just showing you a quick review. You know, giving you a quick rundown of what this these things of what's included with all this. And you put it back. Line it up. Move to the side. Now I kind of want to go over the sheaf a little bit. I like the sheath. When I bought it, I was actually going for the uh, the molded one, plastic molded one, and it looks better. 
It looks rough. It looks, you know, stealthy at the same time. And it looks good. And I wanted it for that reason. You know, I, I didn't care too much for the hex bit uh, kit there. But, you know, when I got this, I was actually happy with this with this one. And I know a lot of guys prefer, you know, they prefer the molded ones over, the, over these, uh, you know, synthetic ones. But this one is actually not that bad. Not that bad at all. You know, the button is plastic. I don't know if you guys can notice that, but might might not last long as it should which is one thing that might be a concern if you're constantly taking it off and putting it on taking it off putting it on um you know it looks like it's well stitched well put together you know you have the two pockets there nice looking well, nice looking i kind of like it and now for the start of the show this is the SOG Power Play. I have not seen any reviews on this, which is the main reason why I'm doing it. I'm sort of the guinea pig here for you guys. And I'm actually, you know, took the dive, took the plunge. And I have to say that I am impressed. I'm impressed. Has good weight, feels good in the hand, good size, a palm grip here. So you guys can see I have average size hands. I'm about 5'10. So, you know. I don't have large hands, but I do have average size hands, good size hands, you know, and it feels good. Um, you know, you, you don't have a lot of, you don't have a lot of wobble here. Let's see if I can pick that up on the camera. Well, you have some, and that might deter a lot of people right away from buying this. You know, I'm not here promoting SOG. This is my own personal video here. So let's open it up. Take a look at the plier heads. You got some, uh, you have some SOG branding. Looks nice. These heads look strong and they look good, you know? And, you know, if I bring it up to the camera here, very tight, very tight. You got a good grip on those, you know, even at the tip and try to catch, capture that tip there. You know, looks very good, you know? And you have the standard wire cutters. You got the grip, needle nose pliers. You have this uh, the standard uh, compound lever system from SOG. Anybody who owns, anyone who owns the SOG knows what this is all about. You have twice the pressure when you grip. So, and you can actually feel it. If you put this thing between your fingers, and I wouldn't recommend anybody do it, but if you press ever so slightly, you feel that much more at the end. You know, again, don't try this. I don't want anybody getting hurt for any reason. And let's go over a quick overlay of what the tools are. So I believe outside we have five tools. So we'll start with this side. We got the straight edge blade. Very nice looking. Now I'm not sure what kind of steel. The package does not say what kind of steel this is on this knife. It's got a good edge. And one thing that I like, it's pretty sharp. I'm not gonna run my finger across it, but it's pretty sharp. One thing that I like and I have to say is that the fact that the edge runs along the bottom portion of the handle. So when you're cutting, you run straight across and you know you don't get stopped. You know, versus if it was on this end, like some other like some multi-tools I've seen in certain reviews. You have your locking system here. You, you can push from either side, from the back or from the front side. You just push in and put it in. And all these tools lock. The other side, we have the uh, serrated blade, serrated edge. Both the knife and the serrated blade are the same length. So as you can see here, I have a run across my fingers about three inches or so, give or take, three and a half, maybe. Haven't measured it. And hit the locking system, bring it in. Now we have some nail, nail clips here. Or you can bring out the uh, Phillips screwdriver there. It's about a medium sized one. And I love the fact that it has this reach. Uh, focus here. Come on. 
Yeah, next time I'll use a different camera. There we go. And I love the fact that this thing has that much reach. Yeah, I mean, you have about two, easily two inches here of reach. Which is great, and they all lock. Which is good. It feels sturdy. Has a little bit of movement. I don't know if you guys can pick that up on the camera. And but none whatsoever sideways. So it's sturdy there. Bring that in. Now I see a problem with these other two tools. You actually have to open up the tool, the, the knife to get these out. So we have a small flathead and we have the can opener, which can also probably double as a bottle opener. On the other side, we have a larger flathead and we have a bottle opener. So a bottle opener, can opener, and Phillips, the knife, serrated knife. Inside, we have the rest of the other tools. We have our saw. Now, if you plan on using this saw this way, then yes, it'll work. But this is where it's a problem. Once you close it, it's on that wrong side of the, of the handle where it should be on this side. Now you have it like this and you'll have an advantage as far as grip goes, but then you'll have that problem where you're stumping onto things and you reach and it's, you know, bam, you're hitting right there. So can it be used this way? Probably, but wouldn't be the ideal way to use it. So it's a good length on the saw. It looks good. Try to pick this up on camera. All right. Other side. We have a three-way file. Have your standard standard file on this side. Diamond file on the other side. And then I believe on the underside we have more file here. All right. Close that up and then we have a few more tools in the center. We have a large flathead. We have a nice looking awl. And then we have a jeweler's flathead screwdriver. I'm trying to pick that up on the video. There we go. So we'll take these out one by one real quick. I'll start with the awl because I really like this awl. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of small, but it is punchy. And what I mean by punchy, it is thin. You can make some nice holes. It is very sharp at the end. Very sharp. And I'm going to put my finger across it so you can see more or less get an idea how long this thing is. About two inches. But it's very nice. And the good thing is that all these tools lock. And then we have in the center... We have this nice little jeweler's flathead screwdriver. Take that out. And last but not least, go through the last tool. The large flathead. There you go. Alright guys, so this is this was a quick rundown of this multi-tool. It feels good in the hand. Feels great in the hand. I'm probably gonna make another video showing how, uh, you know, that giving a demonstration of the different tools, you know, cutting some rope, screwing a couple of the screws in, so on and so forth. And testing, kind of testing every each and one of those things. And very quickly, I'm gonna show you the how that goes there. Bam. Magnetic so it won't fall out. See? Nope. It did fall out if you do it pretty good. If you shake it hard enough. But other than that, stays in place. Good to go. So this has been a quick video review of the SOG Power Play.